Frederick coming at you with another episode of Hey Bro Frederick. Right now I'm leaving the Venetian, so I figured I'd take you on a drive up and down the strip and we discuss the topic at hand, which is backup spins. What are they and why they're an absolute dumb idea and you shouldn't be doing backup spins. And I'll tell you all about it right after this. Welcome back again. My name's Broer Frederick, local Las Vegas-based photographer, videographer, cinematographer, and part-time philosopher. And today we're going to talk about backup spins. What are they and why you should not do them? But before we get into that, I invite you to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell button to get notified when new videos drop and when I go live, which is Tuesday afternoons, Thursday nights, and Saturday nights. And if you'd like to support the channel, you could do that with Patreon, get a channel membership, or click on any of the links in the description below. And stick around to the very end. 9% of all viewers stick around to the very end, and I'll drop the BAM 9% word of the day put that in the comment box that'll help me it'll help YouTube know that I'm putting out content you want to see so let's get into it what the heck is a backup spin when it comes to playing slot machines well if you've tuned into any of the popular slot channels lately the banty about is backup spins backup spins backup spins gonna do backup spins I'm not even sure how that started or where that started but backup spin so the premise is that if you get a bonus on your slot machine on the buffalo on the lightning links on even dancing drums if you're a masochist you're supposed to do backup spins like five or ten backup spins just to make sure the odd chance that it might happen again but let me tell you what it's probably not gonna happen again. So the whole concept of doing backup spins just in case is kind of far-fetched. So I don't know how everyone, including the major players in the slot machine channels on YouTube got involved in the whole concept. Now I'll cover something different, which is stop losses in a minute, but the idea of backup spins just in case it might happen again to me is absolutely ridiculous now the concept of the backup spin uh let's assume for a minute that you hit a bonus that's you're playing three dollars on the buffalo and you hit a 50x bonus so it's 150 so are you going to do five backup spins and give back 15 dollars uh, now, if you had a thousand X, you know, you, you made three thousand dollars, you're gonna give back 15. You're gonna give back a percentage of your winnings just to see if it happens again. Um, uh, where are we gonna turn? Let's keep going a little bit and then we'll turn around. The whole premise of that is just absolutely wacky that you want to give back some of your hard-earned money because let me tell you when you hit a bonus when you win on a slot machine what do i always say you beat the odds when you have a big bonus a big win you beat the odds so why are you feeling compelled or utterly generous to go ahead and give back some of that money that just makes my head explode but let me tell you why in my personal experience I've been playing slot machines in and around Las Vegas and Reno and in Tahoe for probably 30 years, possibly a little more, believe it or not. I've been playing slot machines probably my entire adult life. So if I've seen, or if I say that I've seen 1 million spins, I think that would be conservative. I honestly think you guys can do the math and drop something in the comments and all this other stuff but you got to understand I'm not a Taurus I don't come here one weekend out of the year you know one weekend out of the month and play a few machines I've played thousands of machines thousands of times so I've legitimately maybe I'll have to do the math too I've seen a million or more maybe I've seen five million spins 
the amount of time, maybe uh, let's narrow it down to the past five years. So I've seen several hundred thousand spins in the past five years or so. So if I were to count up all the times that I've had anything of consequence whatsoever happen on the next five spins, it would never equate to the amount of money that I blew trying to see if it happens. It's rare. It's an anomaly. If you hit something and everyone's going to say, oh, but my cousin Joe, you know, he was playing dancing drums and, and he got a bonus on the very next spin. I've had them too. I'm not going to say I've not had them, but they've never been of anything of consequence. If I had a 100x, 300x, 500x, 800x, 1000x bonus on anything or go old school and hit, you know, the blazing for 1800 for 2200 for 1200 whatever the very next few spins I've never hit the same jackpot again ever and I don't know anyone who has now I have seen on Buffalo and various other games that you might hit coins like right away and get another jackpot but it never equates to the jackpot you just hit and so it's some extra money, yeah, but if you add up all the times you're talking about doing backup spins, $15, $15, $15, or you're playing $10, spend 50 bucks, 50 bucks, 50 bucks, you are no way, in no shape, form, or fashion, breaking even doing backup spins. You are losing money doing those backup spins because you beat the odds you made a nice, healthy freaking jackpot. It's time to go. Now, what if it happens right away? That's always some. Well, you know, I just sat down. I hit this massive bonus. I still want to play. Well, you can play another machine. <laughs> no one's stopping you from doing that. But don't put that ticket back in. You can do what I do, which is regress. So if I'm playing $3, I hit a, a giant jackpot. I might play a dollar twenty. I might play sixty cents for fifty spins, just for entertainment value. But I'm not giving back, you know, five percent, ten percent, even one percent of that bonus. It's just not going to happen. These guys are racing their little imports on a Saturday night. But you see what I'm saying now? There's a difference now. What I prescribe to, and I'll drop a card up in the corner. My money management theory would say if you've made a big win or if you hit a certain profit that you were looking for that's when you should shut it down now i round down sometimes to the the 25 dollars or the 50 dollars underneath that i will do but i'll do that more after a bunch of line hits or a bunch of medium or small bonuses I hit something I'm I doubled up and I say okay I'm a little more than double I'm gonna play down to that even double number and I am out of here but if I hit some massive freaking jackpot some hand pay something really fat and chunky I'm not gonna sit there and give it back why would you want to give it back why are you that generous do you think I mean this place is built on people's generosity more than that, it's built on people's lack of discipline. So what I'm saying is, if you hit a big jackpot, cut it out with this, the backup spins. Forget about it. I know you see all your famous people. I know you see all the people that you admire. You know, and you've even seen some of the people you admire on the slot channels do well on a backup spin. But of course, that's what's going to be shown. You know, I would show it too. It makes for good content, but it doesn't happen on any type of regular basis. If someone is keeping track of their dollars and cents, it makes no sense to keep doing backup spins, especially, especially after you just beat the odds and hit some massive bonus. Do not give any of it back. If you're feeling generous, cash app it to me because I'll do more good with that $15 than the casino would. So I thank everyone for sticking around for this semi-controversial 
episode of Hey Bro Frederick. Again, if you'd like to support the channel, you can click on any of the links in the description below. Check me out on Patreon or get you a channel membership for extra perks. Right now, I'm going to drop the 9% word of the day right up here. Bam! Put that in the comments. It'll let me know. It'll let YouTube know that you stuck around to the very end. And that helps the channel. Helps them. Helps YouTube pump out my videos to more people so we can grow the Broar Nation. So I can get some more views and keep making more videos for you guys. And I look forward to seeing you again. Look forward to dropping a new topic. And don't forget to click the bell button to get notified about my three times a week lives. And on that note, Bro Frederick out.